I know you, your name is Sue, but who am I? I gotta find out. At least I'm gonna try. I'm going back where I can be me. At the Michigan City Canterbury Company. Hi, my name is Jan Much. Jerry was a part of my life for six years, every summer. What a loss for the theater community. I could go on about the great man Jerry was, but I won't. I will just say thank you, Jerry, for six of the best years of my life. Being a part of the wonderful musicals you brought into this theater, the best director, Ray Scott Crawford, and the multi-talented young actors and actresses I've ever had the pleasure of working with meant more to me than you'll ever know. I'd say my fondest memory of Jerry was when I did a fun little play called Love, Sex, and the IRS, and I'd like to think that Jerry was my twin in the show and that I used him as, as motivation and inspiration for my character. Um, he clearly impacted a lot of people throughout all these years at Canterbury, and uh, he was a great man, and he'll be, he'll be greatly missed. They've got a great big switchboard there Where it's just hello, goodbye um, What I'm most impressed about with Jerry over the years is how um, What he's done for Michigan City I would come, you know, every summer down to Michigan City as a child and go shopping at the big mall um, And it was very evident over the years that Michigan City was kind of on a downturn um, and it seemed like Jerry didn't let that get in his way. Um, he not only kept a theater going, but he opened up a shop right next to the theater. He really believed, um, from what I saw in Michigan City and the city that it could be, um, and I think so many of us are grateful for that. Um, once again, uh, I couldn't be more thankful of Jerry and the opportunities that he gave me, and he will definitely, most definitely be missed. It may be dull, but here I can be just me, myself, and I A little modeling on the side Jerry, you are a one-of-a-kind producer whose lovable antics will be missed by everyone. Aside from employing me for two amazing summers at Canterbury, you also employed my future wife, Jessica. And now thanks to you, I have a family of my own, an invaluable life experience. Yes, that's where I'll be at the Michigan City Canterbury Company. Hi, it's Rachel. I just wanted to say that um, first of all, thank you, Jerry, for being such an important part of uh, of my life in probably the best three summers of my life. Um, uh, thank you for allowing me to be at Canterbury where I met uh, my best friends, a lot of which were at my wedding this year. And um, one of my favorite memories about you is the first night I met you, but the first day I met you with Ray Scott and you took me down into uh, your office and showed me all of your kind of memorabilia from over the years. and. You're just so proud of what you did and the company and the Canterbury crew that just it made me really excited to be a part of that too. And um, I just wanted to say thank you for that. And if anybody asks for Ella, Mella, or Mom, tell them that I'm going back where I came from to the Michigan City Canterbury Company. I worked with Jerry in 2007 and again a few years later. Um, and I think my favorite memory of Jerry was when I was uh, asked to direct Crazy For You at the Canterbury Theater. And, <laughs> and I was supposed to somehow have an oleo drop in this show. I didn't know what an oleo drop was. Uh, apparently neither did Jerry. 
and neither did the technical director. The only person who really knew was Ray Scott, and he was uh, several states away by that point. So in an argument on how to make this thing, I really didn't care. As long as it got made or didn't get made, I really didn't care. I just wanted a decision. But the technical director and Jerry were arguing about how to make the thing, and Jerry pulled out a textbook, which basically gave a definition of what an oleo drop was and had a picture but it didn't say how to make one or how to hang one or anything like that um, but it was a very very heated debate late 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 at night and um, it is in, in spite of all of that it was one of my favorite memories of Jerry because he just was so passionate and animated um, for that theater and, and for the work that went on there, so. Goodbye, Junior Malik, Santa Claus a hitting the road. Jerry was the first man to show me how to focus a light back when I was in eighth grade, I think it was. Main Street Theater is where I grew up. It's where I got my start, and I owe a lot of where I am right now to him. Uh, just recently I received an award and when I received it I dedicated it to him for being the first person to show me how to focus a light and without him I wouldn't be where I am today. Santa Claus is here in the road Listen to your mama, mama, mother Eat your spinach, baby when I look back at Canterbury Summer Theatre and being a part of the Festival Players Guild at Main Street Theatre, um, that was one of the most influential times in my life. One of the things that I'll always remember Jerry for is the fact that he worked so tirelessly to make sure that every single summer there was a place for young artists to go and do what they love and actually get a paycheck for it. For many of them, the first time they could call home and say, I actually got paid for this. And that is such a meaningful moment for anyone who wants to spend their life in the theater. And he made sure that happened year in, year out, no matter what. Eat your spinach, baby, by the Lord. Hi, my name is Kim Webb, Shreveport, Louisiana. And I'm honored to be one of the many performers that Jerry has blessed with his devotion to the Canterbury Summer Theater. When I was there, once I played a Follies girl in a purple tutu, a big tall redhead in a black leotard and purple acrinoline. Well, she would always greet her producer with a high-pitched voice and a kiss on the cheek. And I always associated that with Jerry. Hi, Jerry. I love you. To which he would reply, Hi, Kimmy. You see, it only works because our names match. And for any of you Southerners out there, don't walk around barefoot like you own the place. Trust me, I learned the hard way Jerry doesn't like that. La petite bergère restaurant au Dieu, je ne reviendrai jamais, jamais, jamais. C'est tout fini, adieu, tu y So goodbye, Max, to your dogs and your cats, to the Dukes of Windsor and his Duchess. Jerry Peters. Um... My relationship with Jerry was a little different than most because I had Jerry in high school as a literature teacher when I was a junior. And then I had him um, as the director of the summer musical when I was a senior. Um, I didn't really get to know him all that much through that time. Um, I didn't get to see him again or do any theater with him until probably ten, almost 10 years later when I started doing shows at the Canterbury. And the fondest memory I have of Jerry is when he realized who I was when I first walked into Canterbury and uh, how glad he was that one of his own was playing at the Canterbury and he never once shied away from telling anyone how glad he was and how happy he was that one of his own was playing at the Canterbury. Bye bye Barton and Kitchell and Hastings and last I'm out of your clutches. 
Jerry Peters was a wonderfully important part of the early parts of my life, of my childhood. He ran Canterbury Summer Theater, where I learned to fall in love with the arts and fall in love with performing. Um, he extended so many opportunities to me to be on stage. Uh, he was a part of making those opportunities happen. And then he was also a part of just letting me be there around the theater as a kid. He let me usher. He let me work backstage. Um, my parents were on the Guild when we used to live in Michigan City, um, and we have a lot of respect for Jerry. He was a wise guy. Um, he made us laugh. He was a character, and he was fun to be around. Um, I'll miss you, but you'll carry on. You'll never know that I'm gone. I'm going back where I can be me. My two favorite memories of Jerry are uh, this little flower pot that he had and um, he would hit the button and they would dance up and down to In the Mood and he used to always play that for me. Um, I got a little kick out of it and he did too. And uh, the other memory is the picture, his photo. He was very proud of his photos and I love photos too. I love taking photos. So we would um, sort of bond over that, over the photos that he took and the memories that he had and um, he would tell me which ones he was going to get laminated and framed and he would print extra ones out for me and I even got him to take a few extra of my stage kisses on stage so I would have those too <laughs> as keepsakes. I'm a going back where I can be me at the Michigan City Canterbury Company And while I'm sitting there, I hope that I find out just what Jerry Peterson is all about. In the Shangri-La of lacy lingerie, a little modeling on the I know I speak for everyone when I say thank you for your endless contributions um, to the community and to this theater and for opening your doors to all of us as artists and allowing us to create. I know it meant the world to me and we will be missed and we will never be forgotten. Jerry, because of your huge heart for people, for your community, and for the arts, I was able to spend the best summers of my life doing what I love to do and making lifelong friendships along the way. You leave behind so many gifts and so many memories and so many loved ones. You will be missed. I know you're looking down on us from the theater in the sky. So thank you for all the extra stage kisses. <laughs> love you. Thank you, Jerry, for all you did for Canterbury for supporting the arts, for supporting young artists like me and all my friends, um, you will be sorely missed. So, um, to all of you who've gathered, and uh, you know, I know you miss Jerry as much as I do, um, and for Jerry, you will be missed. Um, you were gone way too soon, and, and we wish you were still here with us. Thank you. Rest in peace, Jerry. You will be sorely missed. You are very missed and loved, and Kent Perry is, will never be the same without you. Um. Thank you. Wear shoes. In all seriousness, Jerry, thank you for all the opportunities you gave me, and I will be forever grateful. Bye, Jerry. You will be missed. Jerry, I miss you terribly. I'm heartbroken, just absolutely devastated about what has happened to you, but I can only hope that you have gone on to a better place and that you have the best view of all of us on stage for now and forever after. Um, we will all miss you very much. So, uh, this is for you, Jerry. Love you, Jerry Bear. 
Jerry had a vision, and uh, Jerry was a dreamer, and I'm not much of a talker, so I'm going to sing Imagine by John Lennon.